Okay, folks, in this model, we're going to shift back to our architectural, and we should have picked up the elements that we use in our systems model. So we're back in our architectural. Let's go down to level one. And there you can see Okay, now we're in our architectural model and we need to load in our systems. So let's just go insert ribbon link and go find our systems model. Okay, you can just ignore that message. And there, as you can see, we have our receptacles from the link uh, systems model showing all our electrical. And then if we go to our ceiling plans level two, you'll see the light fixtures that we placed here. Now, what we want to do here, we want to go and make some modifications to our rooms because we had a situation here. So to fix this, we didn't room, we didn't name these rooms here. And they'll be picked up in the other model, in the circles model. So first one will show you a feature here. We wanna go into our annotate tab. And we want to select, no, it's not an annotator, architecture. And we want to go to room separator. So what I want to do, I want to separate the warehouse from this corridor. So we just place a line right across here to this point and cancel. And now we go back into our rooms. We can place a room here. We we'll call this corridor. Let's make it caps. And we'll set that. Okay, now that should be that should pick up in our systems uh, file. Now over here, we want to delete these guys out because this was in our other assignment and we use that just for a reference. We already have receptacles and they're going to be shown in our systems. Uh, let's see if we can remove these conduits. Okay. So now we have our power plan. And in this drawing, we don't to particularly have to show it. Now, even with our ceiling plan, most of the times the architect will place light fixtures. But in this case, since we have our own system pop model, we'll, we'll leave the light fixtures from the systems uh, model. Okay, now, what we want to do here, we want to go and look at this in our 3D view. And we notice here, we're going to make some changes in architecture because as you can see, our, our structural model, uh, we put the framing above our, our, above our uh, walls. So let's go into a north elevation here. And now we can do this in structural or either architectural, but we're in architecture, so let's just go and create another level and let's take this level up four feet and we'll call this parapet and click OK and we'll say yes here so now we want to Let's make this three feet, folks. So all we have to do is just select the 
the dimension, I mean, the elevation, and just say 18 in there, that's good. So now, we want to bring these walls up to the parapet. So let's, so the top constraint here, let's just go simply change the level parapet. And then we'll go up to that parapet line so we can go here as well. Take this guy up to parapet as well. There. So now it's taking a better shape. Um, we have our walls in and we have our level one drawing and we had made some adjustments for these walls. Now what we need to do is we need to go in and model these bathrooms. So on the ladies bath, I mean, I don't care how you do this. Um, just go in here and we'll go to um, insert. All old family. And should be in specialty equipment, domestic. Actually, we need to do a kitchen. So we got a lot of work to do in here. So in this general office area, we got a utility, our bathrooms, our conference room. So I think what we can do here, we can probably make this um, a lunch room or something here. In fact, let's make this our lunch room here. Now you can model this and design this to your liking. I don't really care. Oops. Sorry, folks. So now you have your lunch room here, and we'll add tables and a little kitchen in this area. I'm not going to do this on this video, but you can model this how you like. So I want you to add bathrooms. This will be a office, I guess. We can probably put some new doors here. So model this however you like. I just want to show you this now. What I want to do here, I want to close this this model out. And go back into our system so I'm going to just do a view close hitting and I want to shut this guy down and I want to save my architecture and then I want to go back into our systems model and we want to pick up those new rooms we added so we're back in our system. Let's go to our power plan. And our room separator works. Okay. This should be a system. There's our quarter now. Okay. So we're all set, and then if we go on our 3D view, we'll see that I, I we even picked up our walls. So now what we want to do is we want to go and append these models to our Navisworks model. Now we're gonna this is work in progress, so let's go and need to update all of our Navisworks models. So we need to create this model. For Navisworks, so we hit our add ins, we hit external tools, and we'll go to Navisworks and we'll save it as as the same name. And there we go. So let's shut this one down.
we'll say yes. Now we'll open up our architectural model because we have to update our Navisworks model with all of these updates that we've done on these models since we started. We go to our 3D view. And we see our light fixtures and everything in there from our link model, our wall that changed. We'll put a roof on here eventually. We'll put our, our add ins, external tools, Navisworks, and we'll save it. Let's close this one out. Now let's open our structural model. Everything's updated now in our structure. And we do the same as well here. Go to our add ins. External tools, Navisworks 2018, and we'll replace it. Okay, now these are opening up and, and going into our new Navisworks model. So, what we want to do now is we want to go into our Navisworks model and it should be all updated with the models in, and then we want to append in our new uh, systems model. It's taking a bit of a time here. Oh, I think I know what's going on. We may have, now let's go into our Navisworks model. Okay, so now let's open our architectural Navisworks model. Uh oh, I hope I opened it. Uh, I think I picked the wrong model. Sorry, I think I opened the uh, rivet model. And I don't want to open the rivet model at this time. We want to open the Navisworks model. We want to depend in our. Oh, we did it. So we're opening Navisworks at this time. And everything should be updated once we append them in. Now, what we need to do also, we probably need to make a name for the model with all the appended models inside. <clears> oh, <throat> this works out. It's taken quite a while to open. Depending on your system, um, this could take longer or shorter. Okay. Now here's our architectural model. Okay, now we want to pin in. Our structure. Append in our systems. So there we have our model, our updated Navisworks model, with all of our our files that that are, that are linked in. So. We can just navigate through this and have a look. There's our framing and basically everything we've done. We can give it a so we just expand this a bit. There we go. And look at our selection tree. And there's our three files, 
our systems, our structure, and our architecture. So great, we are moving along here. Uh, review. Let's just have a look here now. Let's go in and check some things out. We got we see our light fixtures there. So it's all coming together, folks. So we're in our inside of our Navisworks model. If you go in here and pan around and walk around and navigate through this. Use your navigation tools. You can review the navigation assignment that we did earlier. So now we want to add a few more things in our architecture, but um, right now, sorry folks. Let me just shift this guy here. This guy. Yeah, so here we go. Looks good. So I'm going to just do a walk around here. So, anyway, we've got our Navisworks model going. We have our Systems placed in here. So we've got our three models appended in the Navisworks model, and we have our architecture, structure, and systems models pinned in. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we're going to go in and you model the rest of the work, the assignments that you like. Uh, model the uh, architecture as well as you like. Go ahead and finish the bathrooms and then we'll go ahead later on and go ahead and start doing circuiting and adding conduit. So thanks for watching this video and have a great day and hope all is well. If you like this video, like it or add comments, please.